When you're struggling to tell people you don't want to hang out with them, first be honest with yourself. What's really going on? Is it, I don't want to do that? Or is it, I don't want to do that with you? Or is it, I'm afraid to tell you no? If you'd like to do something but not what they're proposing, be blunt. I'd like to hang out but I don't want to do that. Be sure not to hold the group hostage to your preference. Say honestly, you should go for it. I'll do something with you next weekend. If delivering this is hard for you, your problem is bigger than the event. Pay attention to the next two scenarios. First, I don't want to do that with you. If the problem isn't the event but the people, then there's a conversation you're not having. You're in avoidance. Don't say no in a way that telegraphs a dishonest interest in future activities. You've got two options. Either step up to the conversation about what's really going on, or say no in an honest and definitive way. Thanks for the invitation, but I won't be coming. If the scenario is, I'm afraid to tell you no, then you're struggling simply to admit there's something else you'd rather do because you're worried about offending them. If that's the case, then you've got some inner work to do. You aren't treating these people as friends. You're using them as emotional drugs. You're using social acceptance as a source of self-worth. If you routinely say yes when you don't want to because the other people choose to treat your independence as disrespect, the problem is still you. You are taking responsibility for their emotions, a toxic shift of responsibility that neither helps them nor you. If you recognize you have a fear of saying no, get to work on your own sense of worth. A good way to do that is to pause before saying yes to any commitment. When someone invites you to a hockey game, thank them. Then give yourself time to think. Perhaps say, let me get back to you in an hour or so or some appropriate amount of time. Then when you're separated from the social pressure that clouds your true feelings, ask yourself, what do I really want? If the answer is that you like the group but don't want to do this event, simply say, I'm not pumped about a hockey game, but I will come up with something to propose soon so we can hang out. The best calisthenic to develop the muscle of self-worth is to practice listening to and giving voice to your own preferences. Thanks for watching. Visit CrucialLearning.com slash say that for more tips and resources for how to speak up when it matters most.